What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another G35 video. Today's video I picked up a third brake light for the rear diffuser. This is just a cheap Amazon one, but it's gonna have like a cool like halo aspect and then the center is gonna be the reverse bulbs. And wish me luck, let's see how it goes. Alright, so these are the colors for the wires. So black is obviously ground, yellow is going to be the running light, and then red is going to be the brake light. See so it does like the triple flash, and then the white is going to be reverse. And that shit is bright as hell. So off camera. I just uh, drilled some new holes into the license plate to kind of raise up the license plate a little bit. I'm sure all you G35 owners know it like kind of hangs down naturally like a couple inches, but now it's like nice and tucked in. And also that'll give me a little bit more room for this to fit right about there. So just trying to get the fitment on point before I drill the holes, um, I ended up bending the bottom of the license plate a little bit just to give it a little more natural curve to the uh, diffuser and then it already has this little hole right in the center right um, so i'm just gonna use my drill and then drill out another hole right there and then all right so i didn't realize there's like kind of a thick gap in between and it's actually longer than the screw on the back of the light so I ended up finding this little random bracket I had and ended up bending it to make it fit over the screw and then use some Loctite to hold that nut in tight and I'm basically just gonna line the uh, end of the nut in there just like that but then still have the bracket and then put some uh, self-tapping screws right there just to hold it on sturdy. All right, so this is how I ran the wire through. So here's the wire that comes through the back, follow it up, and I ended up going through right here where the uh, reverse camera wire goes and also the wire for these um, license plate lights goes. And then if you look inside the trunk, obviously you gotta take out all the stuff in the trunk to reach the wires. And right here, this is the grommet. So I ended up, uh, taping this is the wire for the light I ended up taping this to like a um a hanger and then just like fed it through and then it's just gonna go right there and then push the grommet in and then it's waterproof all right so this is how it looks i just put a few self-tapping screws in there um i have this kind of in the little hole that was already made and then um, it still kind of wobbles a little bit, but with the license plate there, it kind of holds it sturdy. And this is what it looks like, all fitted up. Everything's all screwed in, so this is the final look. Now I just gotta get those wires all. All right, so I'm working on wiring them all up. Ended up using T-taps, and I got them right there for the running light, brake light, and reverse. And then right over here, I attach it to the black ground wire. All right, as you saw, I got it working first try perfectly, super stoked. So here's how the wiring works. All right, so the red and blue wire right here, that is going to be the running light. The solid purple wire, that goes to the reverse. The pink and blue wire, that goes to the brake. And then obviously right here, the black is the ground. And that's it. Now I'm just going to clean up the wires and call it a day. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Just a nice, quick, easy video. You know the drill. 
give this video a like, comment, please subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram at Donnie Bo Dangles. Peace.